I honestly felt I was recovered from the 10K. Um, I, I, my legs were a lot better. I felt, didn't feel great in the heat uh, when I run in the heat to qualify. And then from there, I just had to rest up, recover. Um, but in, honest, uh, in honesty, uh, I didn't know what kind of shape. I knew tactically it's going to come down to the last five laps. I just didn't see anywhere anybody would do anything crazy. Um, if you would have asked me a week ago what kind of shape I am in, I would have said definitely in sub what 26 fo uh, 2640 sh shape and and 5k. I would have said I'm definitely capable of running close to personal best. But obviously I've had a week in between and end up doing 50 laps around the track, so it's hard to think what kind of shape I am. I uh, I'll probably have to go back now and um, just get ready for next couple of races. Just want to say definitely congratulations to them and I just try and be myself and in a team hotel and when I'm with the team and just chill out and play FIFA with them and, <laughs> and just be normal. Because um, as I said, if you just be yourself, then that's who we are. There's no point trying to be changed who, what you're not. And um, at the same time, it's like we've got a lot of youngsters and it's nice to see they come away with that result tonight. That was hard, that was hard, it was wet, I had to pick yourself up and um, it wasn't easy but I managed to qualify and I'm looking forward to the final, I just have to now relax, get recover, get, get, put some warm clothes on and get ready. Just one more time in now. <laughs> one more mile, one more race, one more time, um, anything is possible as I say there. Them boys are coming for me, they know, they know, they know what they're doing and um, it's not going to be easy, no one's going to give it to me, I just have to go out there and see what I can do. No, it's been an amazing night. It's been incredible support. The home crowd has been amazing. Um, I'm sad. Uh, I'm disappointed uh, not to win, to come out. It would have been nice to win. Playing athletics, everything, anything is possible. And, uh, today, better man won on a day and then there's nothing I could have done. I did my best. I tried my best. Uh, the Ethiopian had the game plan and they figured out a way to beat me and it worked. Well, Mo, what a send-off you just received from this crowd and you're here with your family now. I know all the sacrifices you've made through your career, certainly where family's involved, now to share this moment and this send-off with them must be very special. No, it's very special. You know, the time they were in uh, uh, mummy's tummy and then now to see them as big girls and Hussein and Rihanna's grown up. And, you know, it's been amazing. It's been a long journey, but it's been incredible. And, um, doesn't quite hit back till you actually, you know, you compete here and finally, after we're crossing the line and having a couple of minutes to myself, realise this is it. Yeah, I can tell the emotion is there. Let's talk about the race before we talk about anything else in the future. Um, how much did the 10K take out of you? To be honest with you, um, it takes so much out of me. It's not, I'm not, it's not an excuse, but it took a lot more, heart, lot more out of me, I realise, and tactically, I was trying to cover every move and they had a game plan. One of them was going to sacrifice self and um, that's what they did tonight. Track for the men's 3,000 metres and what a field this is. 17 starters, eight of these men have run under 7.35. The pace they've requested is 60 seconds per lap, exactly 7 minutes 30 pace. Unusually, 10 different nations represented in this one, although, of course, the East Africans, they're in big numbers. The Kajelcha, the youngster from Ethiopia, who's proved to be such a find for them. The world indoor champion for over this distance from last year. Kwemo is in there as well. The uh, world number one winning in Doha at the beginning of the season, the very first Diamond League and an impressive 7.28. There's Kajelcha. Certainly doesn't look at the 19 years he's claimed to be. The world number one at 5,000 back in 2015 when he was 17 years old. There's uh, Igida, very, very consistent, Mr. Reliable. Mixed form this season, though, to some degree. This is his first 3,000 of the year. Edris, look out for him too. Mukhtar Edris, world number one at 5,000 in 2014. He's had a very good form, a fast 10,000 in Hengelo three weeks back. Bethwell Bergen, world class at 1,500 and 5,000 as well. He's a 333 man this year. And uh, Ruto, one to look out for as well, Cyrus Ruto. He won the Kenyan trials last weekend in a slow 13.31, though of course it was announced.
changes gear and kicks away from the youngster, or does he? Barrega has still got speed. Is there daylight on the inside, or is he going to get there? Edwards checks over his shoulder, and he's going to take this one. There's no doubt about it. The winning time, 1255.24. That final circuit, 55.3. Wow, 55.1 officially. I'm looking at my own watch, which is marginally wrong again. But it matters not a jot because from Mukta Edris. All the way they go. Now, the pacemakers have been asked to head out at 62 seconds per lap. That is a 12.55 pace. It would take them to 1,000 in 235, 2,000 in 510, 3,000 weight for it in 7.45. That's usually where things start to come unstuck in that middle section of 5,000 meter races when you've got a long way to go you've got quite a few laps behind you it takes real concentration and confidence to go hard in the middle of a 5,000 when you've got five or six laps to run Edris is the man in great form though we know that looks supreme in Paris out sprinting a very strong field with that 54 second last lap and his final kilometer Stephen Paris was 225 when that's world-class closing yeah it was an interesting um, I, I, I saw him with him in, 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 uh, 27 10 he ran for 10,000 meters last year he's also a 734 performer this year so uh, he has that good speed at 3,000 the strength of a 10,000 meter run and this event falling between the two should be ideal for him as they hit 4,000 meters now there it is 1026 and that kilometer 234 remember the Third kilometer was a 240, they've accelerated by some five seconds and more. And Chep's guy continues to do all the work. Now, is he gonna dig deep here? Is he thinking about uh, saving something for the last 200 meters? Because if you're gonna lead, you're just gonna act as an unofficial pacemaker for the rest. And you're not necessarily really thinking on your feet. Well, they could be heading for sub 13 here, Tim. And that will be cracking. Look at here, we go with two laps to go. 10.57, 10.58 at the bell. So. Uh, a good last, you know, a good penultimate lap and then a big last lap. Four men still in contention. Really good race being set up here. And I'm really enjoying this. Trying to, I love to see a front runner trying to break the field, trying to get the kickers to get tired, to break off. And one by one, they're starting to feel this a little bit, but 650 meters to go. Well, that uh, last lap when they went through the line with a couple to go was a 62.3. It's still checked the guy. We have a big pack together now, it makes it more competitive. Chapter guy from Kajelcha, Edris in the blue vest in third. And then uh, the pack with Ben True moving up into fifth place. Good aggressive running this from Ben True. On his day, he can match the best of the Africans, can the American. He won the Diamond League 5,000 meters in New York a couple of years back. Looked very impressive on that occasion. Igira in sixth place, the head into the back straight with just under two laps to run. Yeah, they have certainly slowed down, Tim, and uh, I would think we're looking at something like around about 7.35, unless there's a real powerful uh, last lap here, but they're about eight seconds off that 7.30 schedule, which, uh, uh, and they, as you can see, they're bunched up again, which tells you that they have slowed down and there are more in contention at this particular part of the race. And uh, who's got the power, who's got the speed? Is that, uh, it is in fact in the, it's true in the, leading position there look along with Kajelska so it's all changed now it could be anyone's Kajelka and True with Edris in third place as they come towards the bell this time and Ben True perfectly positioned for the USA up against the very best of East Africa Quemoy on the outside is nicely positioned too in fourth place it's Kajelka, True, Edris, Quemoy, Cheptegai in fifth place now Mikal moving up and having a really strong run too. Is Adel Mikal of Spain, European indoor 3,000 meters champion from Belgrade earlier on this year. Kajelcha, 250 meters to run. Driving hard from the front. Edris in second place. True loss for speed at the moment in fourth place as they go into the final bend. And it's Quemoy now on the shoulder of Kajelcha. Quemoy challenging a tall Ethiopian, 120 to run. Gritting his teeth here is Kajelcha, a little glance to his right. And Edris now kicks again on the outside for Ethiopia. Has he got the legs to get past Quemoy, the Ethiopian, the Kenyan? Yes, he has. Brilliant judgment from Edris there to take it. 7.32.32. The unofficial winning time just outleans uh, Kajelcha there down the home straight.
And uh, they're very, yeah, very they're quick. Right final Chepter club. On the cracking race. Chapter guy got nothing left to give now. So can Borrega hang on to Edris? He's gone early here and hasn't broken him. Hasn't got away. I'm sure he's got another gear to go. But what has Borrega got? Two meters in it from Edris, who hasn't really hit top gear yet. I think there's more to come before the little Ethiopian hits the straps from the youngster behind him, who's had the audacity to hang on to him over this last 300 meters. Cheptikai, the race-long leader for uh, the second half of the race, certainly losing ground now, hasn't got the speed. But Edris now changes gear and kicks away from the youngster. Or does he? Barrega has still got speed. Is there daylight on the inside or is he going to get there? Edris checks over his shoulder and he's going to take this one. There's no doubt about it. The winning time, 12.55.24. That final start. Hey guys, it's Mo here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, I'm Mo Farah. I'm gonna teach you the Mo Bot. Yo, bring in the Mo's. Almost Mo. Mo AP. Moisha. Mo overdone it. 
No way! So let's see this dance. The reason why I set up YouTube channel is to be able to give you inside my life while I get up to day in, day out. It's good morning. It's really early. It's time to go work. Work hard, play hard. That's what it takes to be a champ. It's about 5.20 in the morning and I'm gonna go and do some sick photo shoot in Shanghai. That was my mo, but now show me what you got. If you work hard at something, you can achieve your dreams. For many of you guys wondering, how do I get to the top and stay there? It's hard work, but if you work hard, you can come over there, you can achieve your dreams. And I want to inspire you guys to keep working hard and it doesn't matter if you run in a 5K, 10K, you can improve if you work hard at it, put more miles in, put more work in. And anything we do in life, we have to work for it. So you have to understand that. So let's recap. Do the mobot. The stretch into the start. Up next is the look back. Throw that head back onto the lunge. Yeah, guys, feel free to let me know what you want to see on my YouTube channel. Stay tuned.